Good morning guys, thanks for tuning in back to this channel. My name is Angie Owoko and uh, if you're new here, most welcome. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Join the club. <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the simple mistakes that you could be making in your job application process that is just hurting or killing your, your, your efforts. A couple of weeks ago, there were some vacancies in our company and I shared them with my Instagram followers and I asked them to send me their CVs directly to my email. The reason for this is that so many people complain that they apply for jobs or send out applications to so many companies and yet they receive no response from the employers. So I wanted to see what it is that they are doing or maybe how it is that uh, how they are presenting their application and uh, if I can pick out maybe a few things here and there to help them improve their chances of getting hired. So the vacancies were uh, like mostly in maintenance, uh, plumbers, electricians, uh, technical officers, uh, technicians, stuff like that and also janitors. And uh, so one main thing that i noticed is that nobody asked me the name of the company or what the company does like if you do not know then how are you going to present your application or if you do make it to the interview then how are you going to answer the questions so because i remember myself when i got uh, wind that uh, elmville was looking for an administrator and i went and presented my application and uh, they looked at my cv and they thought it was a strong cv and they forwarded it to the employer they did tell me that i should expect an interview anytime and uh, i made a point of asking uh, what is the name of the company and uh, the receptionist did give me a name it was just he just gave me an initial <laughs> i don't think he even knows what the full uh, like uh, name of the company is but that was enough for me because google is my friend as soon as i got home i googled the the company and what it does and i got to understand their mission their statement their vision what they do the projects that they carry out or all over and it did help me very much during the interview because just the uh, next day i got a call randomly but even when the call came in i was already preparing for the interview reading about the company so i got to understand that uh, the company deals with the uh, maintenance staff so i customized my answers for the interview to do with maintenance and uh, it was just like something like this because before i was working as a front office supervisor in a service department and um when they asked me maybe questions related to maintenance, I could relate to when uh, maybe there were maintenance issues in our apartments, like maybe uh, hot water not working, telephone not working, uh, maybe a door not broken, uh, internet not working, stuff like that. And I was able to answer according to how I used to respond in such situations in my former position. So why did was I able to answer this and why was the, did that make me a strong candidate is because I got to understand what the company does. So please, if you are going to apply for any job, make sure you read thoroughly about the company that you are applying for, understand what they do, understand what they need, and that will help you so much in preparing your application and even answering questions if you do get a chance to be interviewed. And then, so, enough of that. <laughs> So um, I did print out those CVs that I got and I took to the recruiter and uh, she kept rejecting one after the other and I asked her, okay, what is the problem? And uh, she told me that uh, she sees these uh, mistakes so many times uh, as she's screening out her CVs or, or she's looking at applications. And uh, number one, and I wrote them down, was uh, like, maybe candidates who do not have the right qualifications like uh, let's say for engineering positions most companies in qatar or at least our company you would uh, need to have a upda certificate uh, so if you do not have a upda certificate then straight away you cannot be considered for an engineering position and that is just like no even need to waste any further time they screen your cv uh, flip it through and if you don't have those qualifications then it's a no-no and even when i was applying for a, my position as administrator they clearly like needed somebody who had a bachelor's degree so if you are you are applying even maybe you even if you were an administrator before but you did not have a bachelor's degree then 
they would cross you off the list and just move on to the next person so that could hurt your application if you do not have the right qualifications and then uh, the second point was a total mismatch and this she told me happens so many times they are maybe advertising for a position of a, a technical officer but uh, people that are applying for that position have nothing to do with technical officer one cv that i got i remember clearly was somebody who was applying for that position of technical officer but looking at their cv they are somebody it support like just because you are like knowledgeable in information and technology doesn't mean you can fix a lift when it's broken or you can fix a doorknob or you can repair a refrigerator so you see that is a total mismatch and definitely you will just automatically be crossed off the list uh, and then the other point she told me was gulf experience like uh, it is so important <laughs> maybe i will ask uh, exactly why but it is so important that for so many positions the candidates that they are, are looking for should have gulf experience i already explained this in another video and uh, gulf experience means that you have worked in one of the countries in the persian gulf like oman kuwait bahrain dubai uh, qatar so if they are looking at people uh, candidates and uh, they find that you have only ever worked in your country and uh, that is not in the Gulf then as a candidate you get crossed out of the list so and then the other point was also the number of years of experience maybe they need uh, somebody who has five years experience and you're a, you're fresh from school and only have maybe two years or three years of working experience so if they can see that in your cv that you do not have the right uh, uh, amount of experience or your years of experience are not enough maybe they need somebody who has eight years of experience or 10 years of experience working as an engineer and you only have five then automatically you do not qualify and that is could be the reason why they don't even bother calling you back and then the other thing she told me was uh, communication skills and uh, before they used to accept candidates uh, maybe even for these technical jobs like plumbers technicians who could only speak maybe hindi or nepali or whatever but they could ha they had like very minimal english but nowadays that is not the case like uh, so many clients require that uh, people can communicate properly in english you get uh, for instance Maybe the, your supervisors or managers are not going to be people who can speak those other languages. They can speak the main language, which is English. And if you cannot communicate in English, then you are disqualified as a candidate. Even if your CV is good and you do make it to the point of the interview, even if you cannot even answer like uh, uh, interview questions in English and the person that is asking you, uh, the questions or is interviewing you is not able to understand your, your language or what you're talking, then you as a candidate is crossed off the list the other point was the right background and uh, she said like uh, could be uh, maybe they, they are looking for candidates who have a background in maintenance cleaning and oil and gas and uh, if you do not have that kind of background even if you're applying for a cleaner position and you've only ever worked in a supermarket as a cashier then and you have no knowledge of cleaning you don't have no the kinds of chemicals they use the materials the equipments then as a candidate you will not be considered the other point is the right skill set and uh, uh, this she explained like for the position of civil engineer which was one of the vacancies like she was looking for people who had experience in finishing uh, preventive and corrective maintenance so if you did not have this kind of skill set then those CVs she would just say no you can imagine she gets a ton of CVs every day the job market is very competitive and uh, if you just do not uh, have the right qualifications then it's unfortunate you will not get to hear back from the interviewer you'll not get to hear back from the company it will just be a no no and uh, the other point was nationality you could be a strong candidate with a strong cv and be like good years of experience from your country uh, but the company doesn't have visas for your nationality i already mentioned this also in another video so that would just be 
impossible because for you to work in Qatar, you have to have a work visa and uh, uh, the company has to sponsor you. But if the company cannot give you a work visa, they cannot sponsor you, then there is no way they can hire you because it's just against the labor laws. So those are some of the points that she mentioned. And for uh, another thing that I noticed uh, as I was screening through the CVs was people were forwarding CVs without even uh, indicating the position that they are applying for in the web either in the email body or in the subject which was just a forward and you look at the cv you cannot make out from the cv what the person is applying for because from the vacancies there is nothing relevant to what they, they, they their cv is about they have been a cashier somewhere they have been a beautician somewhere they have been you cannot make out what they want to be like what they are applying for and if that is a mistake that you are making then it is really hurting your application and nobody has time of day to even deal with such and uh, she told me for such cases they will not even bother to get back to you and told, tell you that unfortunately you are not qualified they just move on to the next person there are instances where they will tell you that okay your cv is good but a b c d but for such instances where it is just you're just misplaced like you it is class so make an effort when you're making your application on the title uh, or on, on the subject at least uh, indicate that uh, uh, you are applying for the position of a janitor or you're applying for the position of a technical officer and then customize your cv to match uh, the qualifications of a janitor or of a te technical officer or of a plumber that is if you have prior experience in these fields and you can do this by going to Google and looking at sample CVs for uh, sample resumes or CVs for a janitor. There are so many and you can look at uh, maybe their, their experience and, or how the CV is presented and the points are on that CV and that can help you to customize your own CV. You don't even have to seek the assistance of somebody but if you find it difficult then you can find uh, somebody that is uh, more knowledgeable in maybe a uh, preparing a CV and they can do it for you. You are looking for a job and you need to do everything that needs to be done to make sure that you have a strong application because otherwise you're just going to be wasting your time. So yeah, these are some of the things that uh, I just thought I should share with you so that uh, you are more uh, like successful in your future applications. If you've been doing uh, these uh, mistakes, uh, previously or if you are failing in one or two things here and there then you can just use these points to see how you can improve yourself maybe some you cannot change because if you are not a driver you are not a driver if you are not an engineer you are not an engineer and there is no way you are going to be applying for the position of an engineer or a driver if you have no no like a driving license or if you have no yeah the other thing was drive some positions require that you have a driver's license or a Qatar driver's license. If you do not, do not have it, then unfortunately you just get disqualified. It is so hard. It is so hard to get a job out here. It is not like before where like employers were desperate to get candidates. Nowadays, the job market is so flooded. And if you are going to penetrate, then you have to have a very, very, very strong CV. And you have to have to do your research properly, know about the companies that you're applying for, be ready for interviews. I see people coming into our office and they, they are looking for jobs and they are interviewed there and then. Okay, so you need to be prepared if you're going to job hunt and be throwing your CVs here and there. Also be ready that uh, they, are, they could interview you anytime. And it's very painful for you to even manage to get to that point of interview and not pass because you are not prepared. So if you know that you're going to apply for a job in a certain company, at least know the position that you're applying for. Be very well prepared. Dress appropriately for the interview check out some common interview questions and answers from google you can uh, get that anytime just from your phone and uh, just see the things that can help you to really improve and nail that job thank you so much guys for watching it is in the morning i am rushing to work but i thought this is the best time to do this video i tried to do it to it do it in the evening yesterday and I couldn't even finish a sentence because I was so tired and I thought in the morning when my mind is fresh would be the best time to share this information with you guys so that it is more helpful and it comes out in the correct way. So do have a, yourselves a lovely day.
yeah and uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and put in uh, the comment section down below any questions that you may have job related and if you think there is something that I missed out then you can just add to the comment section also it could help somebody that is uh, struggling out there I love you so much guys uh, continue uh, keep watching <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you in another video and bye.